Hi, this is Dr. Lisa Dodone here from the Shia Mountain Zoo over in Uganda. And behind me, I have a boma full of giraffe. These are Nubian giraffe that the Uganda Wildlife Authority um, has uh, captured with the help of Giraffe Conservation um, Foundation and a bunch of other organizations, including Shia Mountain Zoo. And um, they're sitting here nicely in the boma. And you can see that they're getting their breakfast. So the team here has gone out and collected a whole bunch of really, really succulent uh, favorite tree branches that the giraffe will like, and they're hanging them around the boma. Um, and what's happened in the past day is these animals have really settled down. They're um, no longer uh, going to the farthest point away from where we are, such that um, they can try to escape. They're really understanding, I think, that um, there's, there's a lot of good food here, and um, things aren't going to be super stressful. Um, the team has also now been able to uh, set up a truck on the backside of the whole um, area, and we're going to start getting them to practice going in and out of the truck. Oh, I want to point out behind me here, this is Mr. Kevin. So he's the largest male that we have in the group right now. He's still not full grown, but you can appreciate his really nice wide ossicones. Um, he's the one that's now just starting to walk away. Well, he got here just a couple of days ago, and um, he liked having all these ladies around. So uh, it looks like he's been representing himself really well in the BOMA, and um, potentially will be a really great founder father for this new population as they get established over in uh, the reintroduction site in Pianupe. Dr. Matt and I, in addition to helping support the capture phase and the translocation, we're also doing some really great research to really help bring the best medicine to bear and really help advance the science going on with um, giraffe conservation around the country. Yeah, we found, you know, there's been a skin disease affecting these giraffe for many years, and we've been working to ca characterize that skin disease, and this time around we're, we're catching flies because we believe flies are, are spreading the disease from giraffe to giraffe, and we're trying to figure out how we could maybe stop it especially as we move these giraffe around the country to areas where this disease doesn't exist. In addition to that, we're supporting um, some anesthesia studies where we're trying to make field immobilization safe for these animals for, so that we can transport them more safely from, from place to place within the country. And that, that information will be disseminated to the rest of the scientific community so that other people can use our work to help giraffe in the future. We're transporting the giraffe um, from Murchison Falls National Park to Pian Upe, and the last 68 kilometers or so has recently been flooded, and you can see these are unpaved roads. So we have a little bit of a, a stuck issue right now. We have five giraffes in the trailer, and we're trying to get them out of this um, road here that is completely flooded. So multiple cars have been stuck here. We've been here about uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, and we're hoping to be able to tow the, uh, the truck forward um, and then get them on to their final destination, which is the reintroduction site in Pian Ute. We are such a lucky generation that we've been given a second chance to reverse an extinction. This is a very, very strong moment for us as a country. This is a very happy moment as a country. Because all the time we, we've been saying our wildlife life got decline and what, but we have got a very big opportunity to reverse all this. Now we are talking about our giraffe operations expanding, the range is expanding. We have giraffes in Ekmburo, we have Maxion Falls, we have Kidepo, and now Pianupe, and we are still going.